imagine if there's an ai to later on where you can actually select specific mentors who are real entrepreneurs and you can just throw in a question and then all the ai avatars of these successful entrepreneurs would brainstorm around your problem statement This year, your ability to talk to AI is going to be as important as your ability to talk to human beings. Today, I'm going to teach you how you can make the most of AI tools like ChatGPT by improving your prompting skills. I'll share multiple tips and free resources using which you can improve your prompt engineering. So without wasting any further time, let's get started. So before we move on to the tips, let's understand how do you talk to AI. Every time you open an AI tool, for example, ChatGPT, you always have to command the AI. You need to give a command to an AI tool to actually produce a tangible result. This command is actually called a prompt. And if you give good prompts, you get good results. If you give weak prompts, you will get weak results. In fact, when you prompt something into ChatGPT, the answer that you get is actually called a completion because ChatGPT is actually a very smart auto-completion tool. If you give it a set of statements, it is smart enough to predict what will come next. So the most important skill here is to know what to type, is to know what are the right words, terminologies and vocabulary that you need to improve in your prompt so that you can make the most out of an AI tool like ChatGPT. Every AI tool is different. So for ChatGPT, there are certain tips, but if you go to a tool like Midjourney, the tips completely change. So what you have to do is you have to pick an AI tool, figure out where are other people posting about the prompts that they are using on this AI tool, and then learn the vocabulary, the right terminology that you can include in your prompts to get better results. Now, this entire process of fine tuning your prompts is called prompt engineering, which in my opinion is going to become a very, very valuable skill in this year and in the upcoming years as well. So let's just see some practical use cases where we can engineer our prompts to get better results from ChatGPT. We'll first cover prompts for upskilling in your career. Alright, so I'm on my iPad and the first use case is going to be around using ChatGPT for getting guidance in order to climb up the ladder in your workspace. For those of you who have never used ChatGPT, we've made an in-depth video. I will paste the link in description. You can watch that video. You will know how to access ChatGPT and use these prompts. So the first prompt template is act as. So instead of asking ChatGPT for a bunch of resources, you can say act like a senior UX designer and then list different pain points and struggles you had in your entire professional career. So the most important tip here is to make sure that you help ChatGPT get context. By default, ChatGPT is just a generic AI. But if you want it to give specific specialized advice, you need to give it context. So this is how the result looked like. I gave this prompt and then at the bottom is our result. You will realize that even though ChatGPT does not have personal experiences, it was able to mention some specific points that you would expect from a senior UX designer. You would not expect these pain points from someone who has just entered design. Now, this is just the beginning because in the second prompt template, what I will do is I will ask ChatGPT to make me a plan. So I will say make a list of best softwares, tools, books, YouTube videos for upskilling as a, let's just say product manager. You can replace anything here and then you don't really just stop here. You don't just stop at asking resources. You also ask GPT on giving you more context behind each of these resources. So this sentence is very important. You say, explain briefly why they are important for product managers. So now firstly, you are asking GPT to give you resources and guidance. That is amazing. But instead of blindly following each of these resources and books, you also get the intent behind each resource, which is very important. So what happens when I give this into chat GPT? When I give this prompt, this is the result it gives. So it creates a structure where it first recommends me the softwares, then the tools, then at the bottom it gave me books as well. So here it says I need a script for a one minute video explainer for your company name, you can add that here. And then you tell ChatGPT about all the services you give. 
So it's a company that will take your site on blockchain and deploy it in a decentralized way. So basically there's some textual mistake here, but basically if you say provide the text and description for the visuals, now of course GPT cannot create actual visuals and images, but it would use text to pique your imagination. It gives me a proper one minute script where it splits the entire thing into an intro, a problem, a solution and benefits. And then it splits the entire thing into visual and voiceover. You can sort of imagine how this script would turn out. You have a textual version of something which is very visual and you also get a good structure and a breakdown of all the scripts that you might want to make for your brand. Next. You can also ask ChatGPT to explicitly call out uncommon advice. So let's just say that you give it a topic. The topic is how to double your creative output. And then you say that for the above topic, brainstorm new angles or approaches and prioritize ideas that are uncommon or novel. So the thing is, when you specifically say brainstorm new angles, you are invoking new perceptions. You are actually motivating GPT to think out of the box. And then when you say prioritize ideas that are uncommon or novel, you are explicitly calling out on stuff which is not very generic. So if you and your competitor was using chat GPT, if both of you gave the same prompt, this last sentence right here makes all the difference. So maybe a person who is not using this template would get something which would be marked say 5 out of 10. But when you prioritize ideas that are uncommon, you might get something which is 8 out of 10. By just adding one small sentence, you completely changed the context in which GPT generated results for you. So this is the result that I would get. It creates a long list. And when you read the list, you would realize that the results are very different from what you would expect if this last sentence was not there. This prompt right here is one of the most fascinating prompts. That is why I've kept this for the last. So if I give GPT a topic, let's just say productivity for designers, I can say that for the above topic, write multiple perspectives from a group with different viewpoints. And for each perspective, write in their own voice using phrases that person would use. Now, this is the result that you will get. Let's just say that we are talking about productivity for designers. It will give you the CEO's perspective, the senior designer's perspective, and the junior designer's perspective. Imagine how crazy this is, because now you're not only asking GPT to become one single mentor, you can ask GPT to become multiple people at one go. You can actually have a board of directors brainstorm around a specific topic and you will get specific tonalities, specific phrases and specific perspectives. Imagine if there's an AI tool later on where you can actually select specific mentors who are real entrepreneurs and you can just throw in a question and then all the AI avatars of these successful entrepreneurs would brainstorm around your problem statement. So before we end this video, here are three very important free resources that will not only improve your prompt engineering skills, but also keep you up to date with the best AI tools. First one is futurepedia.io, absolutely amazing website. As soon as you go to this website, they have multiple tools at the bottom. So they are regularly updating their database of all the important cool AI tools that are being launched on the internet. Next, we have flowgpt.com. Very, very cool website. If you want to become a better prompt engineer for chat GPT, this is a very, very cool resource. So they have trending prompts of the week. They have multiple categories where you can click on a specific category. Let's just say idea generator and see a list of prompts that you can use in your own chat GPT workspace. So this website is going to open your mind and pique your imagination. It's going to show you all the possibilities that you can have with better prompting skills on chat GPT. Third is a GitHub link. And I know that you might feel intimidated if you're not a developer. As soon as you open this link, you will find like a big repository. There would be a lot of coding related stuff. Please don't worry, scroll down. And as you scroll down, you will find this amazing list 
a very very comprehensive extensive list of multiple ways that you can use chat gpt so basically remember we spoke about this act as a senior ux designer prompt you will see multiple use cases being practiced right here on this one single link now if you're here for the first time i would strongly recommend you to check out our chat gpt video as well as mid journey video where we show you how you can create ai art now if you're here for the first time my name is ansh mehra and i create content around ai design and technology we're also on instagram we share very cool resources there on at the rate anshmera.work apart from that we have also created a free course on ux design it's a 15 episode course that will teach you how to become a ux designer from scratch available in both hindi and in english i will paste all the links in description if you like this video make sure you click on subscribe and hit the bell icon and make sure that you comment below if you have any specific doubts if you have some recommendations for some topics that we should make videos on with that being said i hope that you're taking care of your mind and body this is your dost ansh mehra signing out if you like this video make sure you click on like and hit the subscribe button i regularly upload videos on ux design marketing and storytelling